Hello everyone, this is Chubby Berry here. Um, how's everyone doing? Um, today I'm going to do another AliExpress haul video and I'm going to show you uh, how it cuts out and my um, personal opinion on it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I bought this happy birthday die. So I cut out using this, uh, it's a cut, quite a sturdy cut stock. So uh, it does cut very well. So I have no issue with it and I really love it. So this is quite a good die, I can say. Yeah, anyway, I just cut, I think, usually what I cut is that I go through forward and backwards and then I will just see how is it. So this is so-called like one, one round. Then you will get this. And the next one I want to show is this balloon die. Uh, this is a multiple balloon die. Then um, the first round I cut probably it didn't really uh, cut out. Uh, I mean like it cut out the shape of it. But the inner side is still not properly cut. So I need to go to go through one more round before it is uh, fully cut out. So um, this is how it looks like. So not bad. The only downside is that, um, you know, when we want to release the paper from it, I can easily release it uh, from here. So all these things are uh, released out. But the waste from here, if you see this one, uh, probably some of it is not, uh, it's stuck in between, yeah. So, okay, what I mean is, if you see this one, these are the ways. So, they have all this hole for you to, uh, you know, like push out this, this cut stock, like this cut out. I have no issue for that. But if you see this white one, this is not a white paper, this is the metal piece. It doesn't have all these little holes. So what I have problem is that I have problem removing this uh, waste from here. I did try to use some piercers to like, to dig it out. And then it caused scratches to my die. So I will see how I can remove this. Um this one or this paper waste which is still stuck in the die so that is the downside downsides of it so i got is this one a doily uh this one is a smaller one compared to the previous that i show you uh i love the intricate design of it but uh when i do for one pass two pass three pass i realize that uh it doesn't really like cut out it cuts out the, you know, the outer surface, but the, but the detail part is just like an impression on it. So I need to put a shim on it, and you got to find the correct pressure to make sure everything cuts out. So luckily that I, I really did to manage it. Then um, anyway, this is not symmetrical. So it's like when I do the first pass, the outer surface drop out from the main cut stock. So when I put it out, it was like I was trying to find the correct angle to put it back so that I can continue cutting it, like try a few pass. So you, you got to keep rotating here to find the the spots that really matches it. Otherwise, like now it's matches. If you turn it slightly, although the design looks symmetrical, uh, it will not fit to it. So... Yeah, so you got to be very careful on this thing. So anyway, I love this one a lot. It's very nice. I love the design. And then I'm going to show you the next one is um, this two. Okay, so I got this border design, border die, uh, border die design. So I just show you an example. Uh, just show you the sample that I cut. So for this one. This is how it cuts out for this, for this design. Okay, so this is very nice. I really love it. So, um, 
probably you got to find like the design the size that you want and then how long you want to extend for it because it doesn't really cut out everything it just only cut out the design here over here it's not a cutting edge so it'll be like flat so uh, probably I will just cut along here I will just see what other design you want to use and then I got this one we have a lot of heart shapes in it uh, yeah see like all this little nice heart this is really nice I like it a lot I think I, I love this more than it and then um, I'm not sure is everyone like me very thrifty like you know I love all these small little hearts when um, it is being cut out instead of throwing it away actually I do store it over here yeah I do store like those little hearts um, inside uh, a container like this so that in case any project that I want and I want to decorate with uh, small little hearts I can just go in and search probably I will have a few colors of it but I don't mind so like here you can get like one two three four five five six six of it yeah and these are very small size that probably you won't really buy a die just to cut it out so I just store it so I'm not too sure are you like me so thrifty <laughs> that I do keep some of the uh, negative punch out so worth it and then the next one I want to show you is this swirl die I think a lot of people is getting this one because this is so versatile uh, it cuts really good it cuts like butter so it's like one round it will definitely get the shape out so this is what I got and when you are doing like your paper crafting design you can actually just cut a, you know like just cut out this area or whatever just put it put it inside a design just a bit of swirl here a bit of swirl there you don't need to like a full design so this is a very good die you should have it and then another one I want to show is uh, I got this leaf die this one is cuts very well also one one pass it will like get the design out and these are all the small little cutting it cuts really well okay so very nice design that's why I got this one then I got another okay so this I want to show you the tech die okay I bought this die so total of one two three four five six seven seven uh, sizes so and then for this one is to punch the hole at the center um, most of the tech die they actually do come with this one like already attached to it so but for this one you got to separately um, go through the die so uh, what I did is that first I, this is the largest die die set that I'm using so you have a nice stitch around here so I use a craft so this one also like cuts in one pass so after you cut this one what you have to do is take this tie uh, I just roughly center it and then you can cut the hole but if you doesn't want to do it you can just use your puncher to punch a hole but what I like is that because it also gives you a stitch around here so this is a good one but if you want to do um, okay because for this one it's not cutting out fully as a circle um, example is like when you do the punch it will be something like this only so if you want it to be a reinforcer something like this one oops, oops. You want it to meet reinforce it do it as a reinforce what I did is that after I punch it through 
actually it does leave an impression um you know uh let's see you see the impress a zap inside i actually what i did is that i cut around it but if you feel it's very hard to see probably you just trace the circle around it and then you just make a cut there there you go you can make your own reinforce for this one and with a very nice stitch around it and then uh what i got what else i got okay I got this one. This is very beautiful dye. Okay, so this dye is like uh you can actually like slot some um you know after you do it you just slot the paper in. So this is what I have cut out. Um when you do so after that you will need to fold all the sides. So you can actually paste it on your scrapbook scrapbook album and then you can have it see that is what it's supposed to be just a slot for you to put things okay just to let you know when you do the cutting um you will not you know like the first round or whatever you you won't be expecting to get all this um emboss emboss nice crease line including this line it, the depth is not very visible so if you're going to do like a normal die cut uh, you will see roughly very very like tiny um, almost like invisible design of it so you make sure you need to use your uh, embossing uh, silicone uh, rubber mat to go through one more round in order to get all this all these details yeah and then the next one i'm going to show you is the baby pram yeah so it's good for baby album everything like birthday album so this one the cuts is um i need to go through two rounds i think it's because of this area here it got stuck the rest of it is okay and then for here, I thought it didn't really cut out. Actually, it did, it did cut out. But then after that, you need to... Uh, after releasing the paper, you got to poke it through. And it really... Then you could have all this nice little style. So this is a cutting cutting one. Cutting out the styles. And then uh, likewise, I need to go through... Uh, I need to use the emboss uh embossing mat or the so-called texture mat in the scissor die uh so then you will get this one all this nice little detail yeah so just for your info then okay this is the last set of die that i got um it's for the baby one so for this one, you can actually cut it out. I mean, like, uh, make it into individual pieces. But I don't want. Uh, I don't really do it. I just like go through in one pass. Then I have this one. Ah, uh, what it call? Oh shit! I forgotten what it call. Then the one C. Then this one very nice, big ba baby. Okay, so this is what I got. So this is the cutout. It, this one really cuts very well. I like this one. It just goes through one pass. And then for this detail, I need to go use my uh, embossing mat in order to get the detail like the eyes, the wings. Yeah. And then this pacifier have this one. Yeah. So this is what I have. Likewise for this one, this one also cuts very easily. So you see like this heart shape, I keep all these little hearts. Then for these details, you need to use your embossing um, mat in order to get these details. So what I'm going to do is that, uh, depend on, it's a baby boy or baby girl. So I will just go and color it, color the details myself. 
so I feel it's very therapy doing all this coloring likewise for this onesie so this is how it cuts out it cuts out uh, when you do this cutting it is very plain and flat so likewise you need to go through embossing mat so that you get a heart like all this little line to get the details then for this one um, for this one I got let me show you these safety pins that I cut out and I just color it this is very cute very small but very nice if you do it on your baby mini album and then for the heart shape this is the size of it oops this is the size of the hearts you're getting yeah see and then the the star there's two sides of it one size and this this is the larger one and this is the smaller one it cuts very well so very recommend for this die yeah and that's all for my intro to show all the dies that I have and I hope you like my review on it thank you for watching the video bye